Hi, in this clip we will talk about the birthday paradox. In the homework, we asked you to analyze the birthday problem. Uh, in this problem, we have uh, in we want to analyze the probability that n people having all having the uh, different birthdays, and and this is the probably the terms that you came up. And if you plot it against the value of n, the number of people, you get this curve, and you see that. It drops below uh, 0 0.5 at when there are 23 people. Okay. Um, in this uh, series of uh, segments of lectures, we'll talk about uh, how to analyze this in another way. Okay. Uh, first of all, um, since we already have computed the exact probability, we might wanna uh, try to analyze it without. Uh, actually uh, write writing a program and, and we want to approximate the thing so that we can do the analysis an analytically okay so let's try to do that um, first uh, we would like to rewrite write the terms a little bit like this so it's going to be uh, the first guy this is the probability that the first person you know having a different birth birthday right and then um, this is the probability that the second person has a different birthday, right? Because um, uh, his or her choice decreased by one. Then this comes to this, and so on until you get to the point where uh, uh, the nth person has this many choice left out of okay so we would like to uh, approximate this uh, expression so that we can deal with uh, we can estimate the value of the expression against uh, the value of n pretty easily okay now the hard part about this is that this is the multiplication okay so you cannot uh, easily deal with it okay so um, a usual way is to approximate this with something which are uh, simpler to deal with when you have when you multiply things together. Okay, um, one trick is to use uh, this approx nice approximation. If you look carefully, these terms they are all close to one, right? This is one. This is small, a little bit smaller than one, and and so on. So we, we, we might look at this approximation. So we, we know, previously we know that e to the x is pretty close to 1 plus x. Okay, so if x is small. Okay. So therefore, we might, we might try to uh, approximate these terms. Okay, using this kind of thing. Okay, so so let's try to rewrite uh, the this thing in, in into this form so that we can we can try to use this this uh, e to the x to approximate. Okay, so this this the first thing is uh, one plus zero. Okay, and the second terms is less than one, right? So it's basically one minus one over three sixty five times one minus two over 365 times 1 minus 3, 365, and so on until uh, you get to uh, 1 minus, what is this, uh, n minus 1, 365. Oh, you need to have a dot, dot, dot here, sorry. Okay, so there are many things here, okay. All right. So if you put this, uh, you can see that uh, we can if we can approximate these term with this e, okay. So uh, we end up with uh, so it's going to be e to the zero times e to the minus one over three sixty five times e to the minus two over three sixty five times e to the minus Three, three, and so on. 
until you get to e to the minus uh, n minus 1 over 365 okay all right and then uh, before we continue let me uh, wait a few seconds so that you can think about um, uh, this approximation so so why is this doing this is really helpful okay so let me wait for a few seconds before we we continue our discussion on this all right um, so the reason we we are doing this is that uh, if you look carefully they are they multiply together right but we know that if you have uh, something like a to the uh, n to the a times n to the b you can this is equal to n a plus b right because it's just multiplication so you can say that okay so this is e to the so you, you can just add them all up right so it's e to the minus 1 over 365 minus 2 to the 365 minus 3 to the 365 and so on and then we get this reduced to uh, uh, e to the minus and this uh, so let me take out this uh, 365 then what is left is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus everything up to n minus 1 okay and this is equal to uh, if you if you're not following you can go back and try to work it on yourself okay so it's minus uh, so this sum is so it's going to be n minus 1 times n over 2 okay, and you have to divide this by 365 okay so it's this term and this as n is kind of large not actually large but maybe 20 or 50 or 30 so let's approximate it a little bit more so it's going to be e to the minus n square over 2 times 365 okay so this is our approximation so so it's it's nicer to look at than the previous uh, big uh, multiplication so but the question is how, how close is this to the actual value okay so someone on the Wikipedia has already plot this to us for us okay so the black line is the actual value and the the white line are this is our approximation okay so it's pretty close okay all right so um, that's that's how we do deal with uh, approximating the value, okay? And it drops below uh, 0.5 at here. Okay. So this is a uh, one minus the approximation. Sorry. Okay. Um, all right. So uh, this is the question of the segment. So previously we deal with a typical year with uh, 365 days, and there are n people. But this question um, generalized to many settings which are fairly interesting. So um, we would like, as a mathematician, or maybe uh, if you want to look at uh, some general examples, so we, maybe we want to consider a year with M days, and, and what's the probability that N people will have this thing birthday, okay? So maybe can you use the same approximation kind of thing analysis and approximation to come up with some term like this for the case where we have m days all right so that's the question and please think about it before watching the next video thank you see you